Hey, how's it going folks? E.T. here with another tutorial. Today's tutorial is an iMovie tutorial and it's how to do a slideshow and we're going to kick it up a notch and do a voiceover with it. And we might even actually throw some music in it too. Just basically anything to do with a slideshow and how to how to make your slideshow just that little bit more fancy. <laughs> okay, without any further ado, let's get into this tutorial. First thing you're going to do is actually let's start from scratch. You're going to add a new movie. You're going to do no theme. We'll call it slideshow tutorial. Okay. So we got that slideshow tutorial right here. And the first thing I want to do before I even get started is because I hate and I mean I hate I hate the Ken Burns effect so I'm gonna click on my movie I'm gonna go over here to the settings on the right side I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna turn that stupid Ken Burns off we're gonna do fit and I wanna um, control the size of the clips that are dropped in so I'm gonna put in a lot of eh, not a lot a handful of photos and for me I think two seconds is enough 1001, 1002, yeah, about two seconds, we'll do that. Okay, and that way, when I do import the images, which I'm getting ready to do, I should be good to go. Okay, and no theme, no nothing, okay. Okay, now let's go ahead and import the media, which I happen to have in a folder on my desktop. So let's go to my desktop, we'll go to slideshow, and I'm just gonna click on the top one, then I'm gonna do a shift click to highlight everything. And then I'm going to import all. Okay. So let's wait for that to happen. And all the pictures should be down here. There's a little little time kind of counter thing that tells you that they're still being imported into the project. So when all of that is finished, we can uh, get to work on our wonderful project. Okay, while we're waiting for that, I'm going to do some resizing here I think I'm gonna drop this down a little bit and I'm gonna shorten the length of the actual movie itself yeah that should be good okay looks like all of them are there okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna click on one then I'm gonna go to the bottom one that I of all the ones I want to do and I'm gonna hit, hold down shift and click and it highlights everything in between then I'm going to click, drag, and drop those buggers in there. And you'll notice they are actually two seconds each. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So now we have our, our photos in there. And I want to start this with a little transition, I think. And let's see. Should I use my usual? Yeah, i <laughs> use my usual cross through. I like that one. And then at the end, I always fade to black. Okay. Oh, let's make sure we're at the end. No, we weren't at the end. That's why. Okay, we're going to fade to black there. There we go. Okay. So, depending on if you want transitions between each of them or not, you know, you can do that. But they're all, we, we set the preferences or the settings of this, of this movie to import in a fit mode but you can change that so for example if we do want to actually have some movement using the Ken Burns effect we can click on the image we want go up to the cropping tool and we can turn on Ken Burns and what we can do is actually let's resize this so we can have some movement let's have it go let me do a little bit bigger I think so it kind of goes from, well, you can do it. You can do it right there. Let's resize that just a little bit. Okay, that's probably good. So it'll go right to left. Let's go ahead and have a look at that. It should be pretty quick, too. Okay, let me do it the other way. <laughs> so it's, that should work. Let's see how that is. There we go. Okay. So that one does what it does. Okay, so we've added the images. You know, if you want to drop some transitions, maybe you want to do, I kind of like this swap thing when we're, when I'm doing images. 
It's kind of cool. Brings it in and brings the other one out. I mean, you don't want to go too crazy with transitions. People get dizzy and, you know, get irritated. So sometimes just a basic cross dissolve is more than good enough. Yeah. Okay. So I mentioned that we're going to do voiceover in this video here. So the voiceover, there used to be, you used to have to either use the V shortcut by just pressing the V key, or you can go to the windows here and go to the record voiceover. You'll notice that V shortcut is right there. That still works, no problem. But now Apple actually put the mic right in front of your face. So all you gotta do is just click on it to highlight it. And then you have your record button and your settings. So you can, you know, basically set to what you want. Right now it is set to the one I'm using, so I'm, I'm cool with that. And also the volume level it's a little bit less than 100 percent, which is what i want and the project is muted while i'm recording which is important usually sometimes you want it actually when you're recording my recommendation is to mute the project after you can unmute it or you know you can play around with the audio all you want if you want lower audio on the maybe you have a little bit of video in here as well if you want lower audio on that you can lower that while you're talking over it there's all kind of things you can do up up to you and your imagination basically so just put the the scrubber exactly where you want to start the audio and then hit that record button and they give you a three second countdown and then you can start recording your voice voice so let's go ahead and do that three two one check out this cool hot rod and it's 240sx and this miata and this BMW 2002. Okay, that's good enough. And you can just hit the stop button or your, your space bar will work too. So now you have that audio clip. And the cool thing is you can actually, you know, move it just a little bit here and there. And if you need help on how to edit this, you can actually, um, I'll link to a playlist in this video. Click on the little eye in the top right corner and it'll link to all my playlist of all my tutorials and you can actually learn how to edit audio there but basically if you need louder and or quieter you can just drag the line here to a higher percentage but try not to go too high into try not to get into the yellow I recommend okay there we go so now we have a voiceover on the actual clips or the the sideshow okay now there's a music track at the bottom, so we can actually add music too if you want to. And I don't know if I have any music. Let's see if I have any music in here. I actually might. Yep, I sure do. Actually, let me turn up my sound here so I can hear what it is. Oh, no, that's me talking. Okay, I know what I can do. I will go grab some real quick. Oops, wrong tutorial. I'm all a mess here. There we go. That's where we were. Okay. So let me go ahead and uh, grab some real quick. I believe I downloaded some. So let's see if what we got here. Oh, yeah. We got a loop here. We'll grab that one. Yep, that's music. So... We can grab that, actually grab as much as you want. You can double click to select all or you can use your your yellow bracket selection tool thing here to actually do that. Drag it into the music track down at the bottom here. And again, you can control the, the sound level. So maybe you just want a really low kind of in the background, even as the voiceover goes. And this BMW 2002. There you go. So we've done that, and um, I think another one of the questions was, how do you add a movie to this? And basically, media is pretty much treated identically, whether it's an image or a sound file or or a video. So we can just grab any little piece of video. Let me grab a little chunk up here. Let's grab the farm clip <laughs> behind my house. And, you know, anywhere you want to drop it, you just drop it in there but say you wanted to do a little picture in a picture you can actually 
grab, you know, any one of the pictures you had and then just drag it right on top of it. And right now it's actually replacing it. But if you double click on it to highlight it, then this icon here, the video overlay settings will expose this drop down menu. You can just do picture in a picture. And now this thing you can put anywhere you want. This can be a video, it can be an image, it can be anything. And of course you can control the size of the border as well and the color by clicking here. Let's make it yellow so you can see it. And then you can actually 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 add a drop shadow too. So of course these things don't match whatsoever, but you you get the gist of it. So we have a movie and we have an image. And if we really wanted to, we could throw in a voice over here too. Let me go ahead and click the record. Hey, how's it going folks? ET here, blah, blah, blah. And then go ahead and hit stop. Okay, so now we have a voiceover. We have a picture in a picture, a video and a voiceover with a background music track. So I'm just showing you a little bit of what you can do. So the, the the creative things that you can do with iMovie, and there's so many things you can do. And I, you know, I, I'll I try to show you everything you can do, but it's up to you to kind of take these tutorials and then take your, your your images, your videos, your music, and your now your voiceover, whatever you want to do, and kind of just mix it up into a creative ball of, of goodness. So I hope this answered all the questions. I'm pretty sure it did. Um, if you have any more questions, of course, always drop in the comments. And, and, of course, subscribe, thumbs up. Tell your Mac-loving friends or future Mac-owning friends about the videos and all that jazz. And we'll talk to you next time. Thanks for watching. Peace and aloha.